Alright guys, what's up? I've really been into Yu-Gi-Oh after deciding to come back to see if my girl Construct was back, which she isn't, Ripperoni. But I had this really cool duel and I thought I'd share. So, as you can see, I started out the match with a full brick hand. Okay, this is a loss right here. I lost the rock, paper, scissors. He let me go first, which was his first mistake. Uh, but I bricked hard, so this should be game. Um, he's playing Lair of Darkness. So uh, with this hand, I have no choice but to set uh, the right go and then proceed to my loss. But this guy is kind of new to Lair of Dark uh, to the deck Lair of Darkness. So he made some key misplays that allowed me to come back with this horrible hand. And the heart of the cards was not on my side for the longest. So let's let's see how this goes. Okay. So he's gonna do the the usual layer of darkness stuff, but I hadn't seen it with Ravine. But that's cool, I guess. Okay. Got that Raiko already coming in clutch with that hand banish. Make that neg too. Take his monster for that monster reborn. Again. This is a really desperate situation I'm in right now. And that was his first misplay. That was his first misplay too. He should have definitely not done that. He should have, um, he allowed me to get rid of, um, this, these two monster reincarnations which were just gonna clog up with this horrible hand. So that was his first misplay. Second misplay is that he should have, um, though this turn he probably couldn't, but this this guy right here, he has 1200 attack, so he should put him in attack position and start getting that those looks of damage in, even though I'm not sure this turn he couldn't, but the next turn for sure he could have. Again, desperate situation. Lumina isn't exactly going to save me. But I got those mills in. Definitely should have killed the Lumina, but he tributed it anyways. Now we can start our JDs. Gotta attack over that, can't be destroyed by card effect. We got all these mills. Finally, we're getting stuff started. But there goes one JD. There goes my second JD. I'm, I'm under virus now. So I can't draw into my third JD. Or it would just get wrecked anyway. And then the start of the show, snow. And here's the best part. I had to attack to, um, because this was full, full desperate right here. I could, um, with the two snows, there was really not much I could do. I could go into Baguska and start stalling, but I, that wouldn't have worked. Because since he still has Lair of Darkness, he could just tribute my monster at any point for anything. And, um, he can't negate that tribute. So, yeah, because tributing is a cost. So I was totally wrecked. I couldn't go into Baguska. The only thing I could do was go into Tornado Dragon Pop it, but then he would have ran me over. So pointless anyways. Or I could hope for that lucky Minerva. And no such luck on the mill. So that's why I ran into him for that extra mill. And that extra mill really came in clutch. The part of the cards finally kicked in on, on turn 9, because up to that point, things were not going my way. We got that wolf, and we got um, that extra special summon, and that's what saved the game. That Baguska coming in clutch now. Here we're finally starting to look up. We got that Lumina, she can't be um, virused.
Okay. Got four cards. Michael kind of saved the day that turn, but now we got these looping traps. Michael's gone. Gonna run over him with uh, the Goblin Bird, and then Miss Snow, which should definitely be banned, saved the day. Okay. Well, I thought that was a good duel, and I thought I'd share with you guys. Uh, yep.